What is going on everyone? First and foremost, I want to say thank you for being here right now watching this video. I do really appreciate your time and I would really appreciate if you do consider subscribing simply because it does truly help me out a lot. Now we're going to be reacting to This Is Sad Man. Floyd Mayweather reacts to Mike Tyson's new training footage at the age of 57 years old, man. Now, in general, not just Floyd Mayweather, we have a lot of people in general saying Mike Tyson is way too old. You get what I mean? He's way too old. The last time he fought was in like 2020, I think. You get what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, we all know the guy is way out of his prime. And a lot of people are saying he should not be fighting whatsoever, right? And there's a lot of people who don't even care. You get what I mean? They see they see his training footage. He looks fast. He looks powerful. He looks, you know, extremely quick, if you get what I mean. So they completely throw age out of the equation. And they still pick him to win. But at the end of the day, man, there's a lot of people saying Mike Tyson is way too old to be, you know, fighting a younger, a young, hungry Jake Paul, I should say. You get what I mean? So, yeah, man, overall, we're just going to be reacting to Floyd Mayweather's reaction to this whole entire situation. So without further ado, not going to do too much happen. Just going to let the video play. Then I'll say what I have to say at the end of the video. Right now, for what he's doing, it's good for what he's doing. But once he fights a real actual, a real fighter, it, it's, it's going to be bad. Floyd Mayweather has just reacted to Mike Tyson's new training footage, and it appears that he is not happy with Tyson's fight with Jake Paul. Moreover, Nate Diaz has cast his vote in the ongoing debate. In a recent interview, Nate Diaz said, Mike Tyson's a goat man. So, I'm on Mike Tyson's side, so we'll see what happens. I think he's seen it all, yeah. Diaz argues that Iron Mike possesses a certain prowess that the problem child has yet to attain in his boxing journey. Moreover, Diaz hinted that he's not done settling scores, with Jake Paul being just one name on his list of targets. He teased at the possibility of facing off against other intriguing opponents as well. He stated, I 100% guarantee I'm gonna fight Conor McGregor again, and 100% guarantee I'm gonna probably fight Jake Paul again, this fucking fucker again, and Leon Edwards again. Canelo Alvarez has clearly stated that he has no desire to watch the upcoming fight. There's a backstory between Paul and Canelo, with Paul often challenging Canelo to a match. Although Canelo has come to acknowledge the online sensation's presence in boxing, he remains steadfast in his decision not to fight him. Not really, not, not even interested. No, nothing. Do you think it's it's good for boxing, not good for boxing? No. Canelo did see a bright side to the situation, pointing out the positive aspect of Netflix hosting the event on its platform. However, Canelo sees it as a missed opportunity for the streaming giant to make Paul versus Tyson its debut event. A lot of people think, think that Netflix is, is good for boxing. I think Netflix is good for boxing, but at that special fight, I think Netflix is doing something wrong there. I think Netflix being involved, yes, is good, but no in that kind of fight. Manny Pacquiao weighed in on the matchup between Paul and Tyson after the fight was announced. Tyson confidently stated that he would end Paul's boxing career, and it seems Pacquiao agrees with this sentiment. Additionally, Pacquiao remains unwavering in his belief in Mike's skills. When asked about the chance of Paul beating the 57-year-old Tyson, Manny replied that he doesn't believe it will happen. What do you think of Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? Oh. That fight just got announced. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Oh, they're going to fight that. Yes, they're going to fight. Do you think Jake Paul could beat Mike Tyson? I don't think so. <laughs> British boxing legend Ricky Hatton was outspoken when discussing Mike Tyson's contentious fight with Jake Paul. Hatton, a former champion in two weight classes, has voiced his disapproval of the match and the ongoing trend of YouTube personalities moving into professional boxing. In a recent interview, Hatton expressed, I get the pushing and the shoving and the name calling and holding each other back, but some of the great champions of old will be turning in the grave. Watching that cunt to be honest with you, Hatton recognized that the current world is geared towards entertainment, with YouTubers taking on on MMA fighters and MMA fighters challenging boxers. Hatton mentioned, I'll be turning in my grave and watching it myself, but I've got my eyes open in the sense that this is the world that we're in now. We're in the entertainment business. YouTubers against MMA and MMA against boxers. I think that world can exist. Hatton clarified that he isn't disregarding the entertainment value of these matchups, recognizing that their popularity comes from people's desire to watch them. He said, as long as fights like Garcia, Crawford and Spence, Fury and Usyk happen, as long as those fights are made, 
shade, they can stay in their world and we'll stay in our world. Both can exist. I'm not turning around and saying, oh, this is a joke. We're in the entertainment world. But let them have their world and we'll have our world. David Benavidez acknowledges Tyson's legendary fighting spirit and his potential to deliver a competitive performance, but he remains apprehensive about Tyson's advancing age and the impact it might have on the fight's outcome. Benavidez emphasized the importance of Tyson's preparation leading up to the fight, highlighting that Tyson's physical condition and training regimen will play a crucial role in determining his performance in the ring. Tyson's age, yeah. but Mike Tyson is always going to be a fighter at heart, you know what I mean? So it's really just how he prepares. And um, it's going to be a good fight, bro. Jake Paul, he's not, I think he knows it. I mean, it's Mike Tyson, you yeah. got to get ready, so. Yeah. Given Tyson's age and the challenges associated with maintaining peak physical condition, Benavidez believes that Tyson's preparation will be a key factor in his ability to compete effectively against Paul. Furthermore, Benavidez stressed the importance of Jake Paul being fully prepared to confront Tyson's formidable boxing skills and experience. Despite Paul's rising popularity and success in the boxing world, he will be facing a significant step up in competition when he squares off against Tyson. Just, uh... You know, just um, hopefully it's not you know nothing too crazy. Right. You know what I mean? Mike that's is only, sixty, bro. That's so the only that, thing that worries me, bro. Yeah. But like I said, if if Mike goes on there and you know gives Jake a good fight, we're not, not going to be surprised. I'm not so, you know what I mean? Mike, hey, from Brownsville. Yeah. Benavidez warned Paul against underestimating Tyson and urged him to approach the fight with the utmost respect and preparation. Despite his concerns about Tyson's age and physical condition, Benavidez remains open to the possibility of Tyson delivering a spirited and competitive performance against Paul. He acknowledged that if Tyson is able to showcase his legendary skills and give Paul a run for his money, he wouldn't be caught off guard by such an outcome. Yeah, bro, Mike. He's, a, he's like I say, he's a world champion. He's a fighter at heart. You know what I mean? So I, I think it's gonna be a good fight. Do you like these type of fights, like the influencer or just the? I don't know what to call it influencer, but just, you know, the fights that's not real boxers yeah. in that way. Like, do you like that? You know what, bro? I don't, I don't hate on them. I used to not like them back then, but now that I see that, you know, you got these influencers, you got these other people, they're actually showing commitment they're showing their yeah. passion for boxing i think jake and at the end yeah just like jake concerns have been raised for mike tyson about the potential risks to his well-being in fighting jake paul mauricio Suleiman, the head of the wbc admits that tyson might come to regret his decision to return to the ring he recognized that mike had a very difficult end to his boxing career being out of shape and going through a significantly worse stage of his life mauricio Suleiman expressed mike is a legend and an unbelievable legend that has so many great things and is outstanding he has had a very ugly ending to his career in boxing, but he was out of shape and in a completely problematic stage of his life. Suleiman pointed out that when the world sought entertainment during the lockdowns, Mike stepped up and fought Roy Jones Jr. He looked impressive and delivered exactly what everyone anticipated. However, Suleiman believes that this upcoming fight with Paul is different. Suleiman added, This time with Jake Paul is different. He is a young, strong, upcoming fighter with great social media followers. And if it is an exhibition, then we have to support it. It is good for boxing. So, let's support it and make it a great event for kids to look up to Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Suleiman added that every fight carries its risks, regardless of age or any other factor, as a single punch can alter someone's life. He noted that the WBC does its utmost to minimize risks for all fighters. When they step into the ring, he said, every fight is dangerous regardless of age, regardless of anything. One punch can change your life. We do our best effort at the WBC to minimize the risks for all fighters when they go into the ring. However, former professional boxer Kenny Rainford asserted that Tyson would emerge victorious over Paul, despite health concerns. Rainford recognized the concerns within the boxing community, but remained confident in Tyson's ability to win. Rainford said, He's lived hard and trained hard, and he's doing that now. Jake Paul hasn't been hit by a heavyweight. He struggled against Tommy Fury at cruiserweight. The problem will be when Tyson hits him. Rainford added that Tyson still faces challenges due to his age, and that his stamina isn't what it used to be. He pointed out that Paul is also sharp and quick. He further noted that Mike would need to finish off Paul quickly, because the longer the fight went on, the more punishment Tyson would likely endure. Rainford added, Tyson still got the age against him, and the engine isn't what it once was. You can't take away natural youth. Paul is quite sharp himself and quick. Mike is going to have to get Paul out of there double quick. The longer it lasts, the more punishment he'll face. Rainford suggested that he could envision Tyson defeating Paul in two or three rounds, but he also saw the possibility of Paul winning on points or possibly stopping Tyson late in the fight. Rainford said, you can't ignore the age, and I can see it from both sides. I can see 
Tyson doing him in two or three rounds. And I can see Paul winning on points or potentially stopping him late on. I predict Tyson will stop him inside three rounds. Mike Tyson, the boxing legend, has recently teased fans with a glimpse of his training and preparation for his upcoming showdown against Jake Paul. In a short video clip posted on social media, Tyson is seen focusing on enhancing his agility, displaying the ferocity and intensity that made him a feared competitor during his prime. The video showcases Tyson darting across the training area with the agility and speed of a charging beast, hinting at the formidable shape he is in despite his advancing age. While the display of raw power is impressive, it is Tyson's words that truly captivated fans and sent shivers down their spines. Despite the concerns and skepticism surrounding Tyson's age and physical condition, his recent training footage and menacing message to Jake Paul have reignited interest and enthusiasm for the fight. But this is not it. Mike Tyson continues to ramp up the intensity, recently releasing new training footage that has sent shockwaves through the boxing community. In the electrifying video, Tyson showcases his iconic striking abilities, displaying remarkable swiftness and formidable force that is sure to make even the bravest of opponents think twice. Accompanying the video, Tyson posts posted a threatening caption on social media, writing, Can't wait for this to be Jake. This ominous message serves as a clear warning to Jake Paul and underscores Tyson's determination and focus as he prepares for the fight. <laughs> Yes, sir, that's the, one. the combination of Tyson's menacing training footage, his ominous social media posts, and his confident statements in interviews have heightened the anticipation and excitement for the fight. As the bout between Tyson and Paul draws nearer, fans and pundits alike will be eagerly anticipating the outcome and watching to see whether Tyson can turn back the clock and deliver a vintage performance or if Jake Paul can rise to the occasion and secure a victory over the legendary former heavyweight champion. But it appears that Jake Paul is getting scared of facing Tyson. In a tweet from IFN. It was revealed that Paul has admitted to feeling nervous when watching pad clips of Mike Tyson in action. IFN tweeted, Jake Paul has called Mike Tyson his toughest opponent to date as he reveals Mike Tyson pad clips make him nervous. However, Floyd Mayweather, one of the greatest boxers of all time, has recently reacted to Mike Tyson's new training footage with a mix of admiration and concern. In a statement that has caught the attention of fans and pundits alike, Mayweather expressed his feelings about watching Tyson, now 57 years old, training with the same intensity and ferocity that made him a boxing legend. Notably, there is an ongoing feud between Mike Tyson and Floyd Mayweather. While Mayweather views Tyson's choice to fight Jake Paul as unwise, Tyson had previously expressed interest in facing Mayweather directly. In a candid conversation with Steve Farhood on Showbox, when asked about his dream opponent from any era, Tyson immediately named Floyd Mayweather as his ultimate fantasy opponent. Tyson declared, Well, I would love to have fought him. I wish he was my weight. We can never fight, of course, because of the weight difference, but I wouldn't fight him the way they fought him. Farhood laughed approvingly, showing his admiration for the answer, as the former world heavyweight champion elaborated on the intriguing aspects that would make a fight with Mayweather compelling. He expressed, I would be mean, I would be dirty, because you'd have to do everything to fight him, because he's just so good. Tyson added that fighting Floyd cleanly is nearly impossible, and that beating him is very challenging because of his style. He stressed that regardless of what anyone says, Floyd's unique fighting style makes him exceptionally hard to defeat. He said, you can't, it's almost impossible to fight Floyd clean. It's just so hard to beat him. I don't care. It's really hard to beat him. The style he deploys, it's really difficult to beat him in that particular style. In another instance, Tyson recalled a time when Mayweather compared himself to Muhammad Ali, even going as far as to claim he was better, a view Tyson strongly disagreed with. He further criticized Mayweather, dismissing that argument. Tyson described Mayweather as very delusional. He, he, he's very delusional. He can't listen. Um... If he if he was anywhere near that um, that realm of Grand Ali, he'd be able to take his kids to school by himself. Okay, he can't take he can't take his kid to school by himself. And he talking about he's great. Greatness is not guarding yourself from the people. Greatness is being accepted by the people. He can't take his kids alone to, to school by himself. Meanwhile, following his retirement, Mayweather voiced his concerns regarding the overabundance of world title belts in the sport. Speaking in late 2020, Mayweather said, There's too many champions. In the sport of boxing right now, too many champions. There's no such thing as a super champion. Not at all. And I'm not taking anything away from any fighter. It's too many belts. Mayweather explained that the reason there are so many titles and belts in the sport of boxing is because for every belt won, a sanctioning fee must be 
be paid. He said people often don't realize this aspect of the sport. He further said, if a fighter has just the regular belt, he has to pay a sanctioning fee. If a fighter is a super champion, he has to pay a sanctioning fee. This is not good for the sport of boxing. Every fighter is a champion now. Belts now are like a fighter winning an amateur trophy. However, Tyson refuted this when questioned. He replied, boxing can never have too many belts because every time there's a championship fight, that's more money for the fighter. There's never enough belts. Tyson pointed out that if there's only one champion and 10 contenders, it would take a considerable amount of time to go through these contenders, especially since they would also have to compete against each other. He said, it's good to have three champions because every time there's a fight, everybody can get paid. Everybody makes money. That's what this business is about, money. Returning to the Tyson versus Paul fight, Tyson's age and limited recent activity have raised doubts about this matchup. Bernard Hopkins, a multiple world champion, believes Tyson is putting himself at risk by fighting Paul, a 30-year-old former YouTuber turned boxer. Hopkins disagrees with Tyson's decision to fight Paul, seeing Tyson as a legend, one of the greatest boxers of all time, deserving of immense respect. He said, I could watch two turtles run and I'd be more excited. I don't like it. I don't like it. I look at Mike. I look at him differently than the way I did in my day, the way people looked at Ali. I looked at Ali differently too. Marvin Hagler, Sugar, Ray Robinson. Hopkins voiced his disapproval, describing the situation as turning more into a sideshow, complete with some sweat and, if lucky, some blood. He firmly stated that he wouldn't watch it, indicating that watching two turtles race would be more exciting for him. I, I don't like it. I think it's become more of a sideshow with some sweat, maybe some blood. If we're lucky, I won't watch it. No, I, I, I could find, I can watch two turtles race and be more excited. Hopkins believed that the current situation undermines Tyson's legacy. He suggested that while Tyson might make a substantial amount of money from these events, they do not align with the dignity of his past accomplishments and his esteemed position in the sport. Hopkins further mentioned, it's because of how I look at Mike Tyson. I've shared not only the ring with Mike Tyson several times, but also the era, a little tip of the hat to the era. I just think that demeans him. He'll get 100 million, 200 million, please, that's fine. Despite ongoing doubts about his age, Mike Tyson remains steadfast in his confidence that he will win his fight against Jake Paul. The 57-year-old boxing legend, approaching his 58th birthday, had expressed concerns about his health when news of the upcoming match was announced in early March. At the same time, an old video of Tyson using a cane for mobility re-emerged online, raising concerns among his fans. Despite this, Tyson posted a video on his Snapchat showing a sparring session with one of his trainers. The video provided a view of what Paul might face when moving around the ring with the former heavyweight champion. Tyson's use of Everlast gloves was noted as he threw quick punches. This performance might be an indication of what to expect, especially since the fight is still more than three months away. Tyson has also responded to the event's critics. He pointed out that even at this age, he still garners billions of views just by talking about fighting someone. He expressed annoyance towards those including numerous athletes who are envious of his current popularity. Tyson exposed their jealousy and said, I'm 58 and what? I'm getting billions of views from just talking to somebody about fighting. Everybody, even most of the athletes, they're jealous. That's whack. I say in your prime, you couldn't draw a million people, man. What are you talking about? You couldn't sell out an arena. Who at 58 could sell out an 80? 80,000 seat arena. Moreover, Mike Tyson was featured in a Fox interview recently where he discussed his mindset heading into the fight. He said, I have a weird personality. I don't think it's weird though. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. That's how it is. Tyson revealed that he had reservations about the fight with Roy Jones Jr. in 2020. However, he chose to go through with it, explaining that he faces anything he's afraid of because of his personality. He added, I was afraid of the Roy Jones Jr. fight in 2020. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was, however, old. 54. 53. And I said, let's do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I confront it. That's my personality. Right now, I'm scared to death. That's what drives Tyson to step back into the ring. He said that he's always felt that facing adversity and experiencing nerves have pushed him towards success throughout his career. He stressed that he needs these emotions to fuel his motivation to fight. He added, I always believed that adversity and nervousness pretty much catapulted me into success. If I didn't have these feelings, I wouldn't go into this fight. I have to have these feelings to fight. Without them, I would never go in the ring. But 
Tyson said that he will be different when reality hits. He said, As the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. Discussing his opponent, Tyson noted that Jake Paul has come a long way since his YouTube days. He thinks Paul will be ready to cause damage, which Tyson is accustomed to. However, Tyson believes that Paul will be making a significant mistake. Tyson said, I saw a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy is going to come, he's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's going to be greatly mistaken. Regardless of one's stance on the matchup, the undeniable allure of seeing two polarizing figures from different eras of combat sports facing off promises to make it an event that will be watched and debated by fans and critics alike. Make sure to check out some of our other videos. But um, yeah, man, that is the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section and overall subscribe for more content, man. But my opinion on this whole situation, <clears throat> right? Um, as you guys can see, there's a lot of people picking Jake Paul to win this fight simply because they think Mike Tyson is way too old to be fighting. <laughs> you get what I mean? And they're well aware that Jake Paul pulls off some sketchy business. You get what I mean? He fights a lot of old athletes. You get what I mean? Um, he fights a lot of old athletes or athletes who aren't even supposed to be fighting anymore. Basically retired, if you get what I mean. So at the end of the day, man, they already saw what's been happening. They already seen what Jake Paul has been doing. So they think it's the right, it's only the right decision to pick Jake Paul at this point. You get what I mean? Because they already know what kind of sketchy business Jake Paul is out here, you know, trying to pull off, if you get what I mean. So at the end of the day, man, you guys pretty much get the idea. But there's a lot of people seeing Mike Tyson's insane training footage, hitting the pads extremely hard. He's fast. He's, he's very quick. You get what I mean? And they're like, you know, completely throwing age out of the equation. You get what I mean? Saying that has nothing to do with it. Bro is still an absolute beast. You get what I mean? Like, it's in him. You get what I mean? He's literally a beast. And age overall just doesn't take that away, if you get what I mean. But, um, yeah, man, that's just their opinions. Um, Yeah, let me know what y'all think, man. I don't have too much to say. I'm not going to go on an absolute yap session. So, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to leave it to you guys down in the comment section. So, let me know what you guys think. And without further ado. If you did make it to the end, subscribe for more content and peace out.